So today we're going to teach you how to do a French braid. French braid, make sure you, it is like a regular braid, however you do have to add in hair from the side each time after the first one. So on the first, the top of your head, you're going to start sectioning off apart, separating into three strands. Now it depends on the French braid that you're trying to do. There's the inwards and the outwards. So today I'm just gonna demonstrate one of them. And first twist it and twist it. It's just, just how you start a regular braid. And then on one side of the hair, you're gonna section some off, add it into this strand and braid it to the middle. Same on the other side, let go of this piece, use your pinky section hair, braid it to the middle. And then you repeat it again. You section hair and braid it to the middle. Section and add, braid it to the middle. Section and add, braid it to the middle. section and add braid it to the middle and you keep going until you reach the nape of the neck or simply you just do it until there's no um, hair left to add onto it and you just keep braiding it all the way down now one of the really tricky thing with this hair is that when you're adding hair make sure each section is relatively even if not, you'll have some really thick ones and some really tiny ones. Also, if your girl has some fly waist issue, then at the beginning, you should use a comb, add some gel into it, just squeeze a line of gel, and then start combing her hair through it so all the fly waist will stay in place. Is this before you start braiding? But that's before you start braiding. But then her hair is relatively fine, so it's okay. Also, make sure when you do any hairstyle for the showcase, you have to leave it unwashed for at least a day to eliminate it, all the flyaways. So yeah, that's okay. French braid. So from here, we have some dances that I, we actually want it tucked in. So to tuck it in, you do bobby pins. You can use bobby pins or you can use the U-shaped pins, whatever you, you have in hand. So you tuck it in. Make sure all the ends are tucked in. There should be a little loop at the bottom of the hair, like here, so you can tuck the ends it's Like a pocket. In. Yeah, like a pocket. It's a pizza pocket. And then stick it from the outside to the outside, and then inwards. Outside, inwards, out, and in. And then if you feel like it's still insecure, add a few more bobby pins. Make sure when you use bobby pins like these ones, the ones you can get from any dollar store, you do it invertedly, okay? So this one will go towards the scalp, but this one is on top because if you put this part on the scalp, it will slide off. So the shorter side, the one that the, the With the rigid, sticks, yeah. yeah. It sticks out, goes closer to the head. And again, out and then in. And then in, and then it should be relatively stable. And then when she shakes her head, it should be fine. Okay? Shake your head. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Okay. Okay? Hairspray takes to keep everything together. You go tzzz, don't eat, breathe it in. Just to keep all the fly away. Everything clean. Usually you do a lot more. Yes, okay, time time. like around the whole head. Yes. Catherine, take a take a look at us. Yay. <laughs> the next hairstyle is a slick back pony, high pony for to be specific. First, make sure your girl's having all her hair combed up, and then a way a really good trick to make sure all the flyaways are keeping in intact is to squeeze a lot. Well, we're, we're here. <laughs> Squeeze a line of gel on the comb and then comb it through this, 
the scalp. Can you see all the gel is on top and in? Do you feel like cool in your scalp? Yeah. Yeah. It feels great, doesn't it? And just keep combing it through. One line should be more than enough, unless you have really, really, really thick hair. Maybe add another one, but right now it seems fine to me. Now, it's all nice and smooth. And then gather the hair just like what you normally would for, oops, for a ponytail. All the way up. Make sure all the sides are smooth. And then, do one higher. Mm -hmm. So high ponytail would be not the top middle of the head, but just right by the crown of the head. So that would be where a high ponytail is. A mid-level ponytail would be between the ears. And then a low one would be at the nape of the neck. So the nape of the neck is when she, where she bends her neck. Bend your neck sweats. Bend backwards. So not where it bends here, but just above it. So that if the bun is here, they can still move their head around. All right, so that would be where a low bun would be. Mid would be right between the ears. And high would be at the, near the top back of the head. All right, and then secure with the elastic that is of your hair color. So if you have a purple hair tie, you better have purple hair. <laughs> so tie it, make sure it is very tight. And there you go, it's like back then. And if there are <laughs> any more flyaways, again, use the exact same method, put gel on top and then comb it through. Now to go from pony to a bun. All right, onto a bun, you will need a hairnet. If you don't have hairnet, always ask us to buy more. It's a black hairnet unless you have blonde hair or even if you have dark brown hair, this will be fine as well. So first things first, twist your hair so they're all gathered. and then following where it is, turn it tight. Make sure everything is tight as you're wrapping a bun so nothing will flies off and no hair will be undone when we're doing a dance. And then use a hairnet to wrap. This hairnet, I doubled it up. Going from like, oh, this hairnet is no good. <laughs> <laughs> so normal hairnet is about this big you might want to wrap it around first and then thank you and just tie it around here okay make sure everything's tucked in and then again you can use a bobby pin open it up a little bit again prong side down so the short side's down going up in and then oh, stick it inside. Make sure it's closer to the scalp when you're doing this. If not, it will definitely fly away. So you will at least want for, if you have a shorter hair and your bun is a little tinier, you will at least want one, one on each side. And if you have any bigger buns, feel free to add as much as you need to, as long as it stays secure. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm using the U shape ones here just so I don't have to open my bobby pins. But yeah. Keep going around and around. So, last one in. Is it secure? Shake your head. Like, real hard. <laughs> yep, exactly. It won't, even, it won't even move. Okay? So, that's a high bun. If you were to do a low bun, it's exactly the same with the twisting process. You just have to do it lower or middle as the one that you're requested by your instructor. 
Now, if you have a hairstyle like her where you have front bangs, especially short front bangs, what you want to do is that wash the night, uh, wash your hair two nights before, and then pin your bangs up, okay? Because if not, your hair will be naturally going down. It will be really hard to pin it back up. Now, after you pin it back up, so you, after you wash it, you actually want oh, to yeah. pin it back to dry. It needs to dry in this position. Exactly. And then. going to use bobby pins first to secure it prong side down so the squiggly side down closest to the scalp again prong side down and then Magic time. Oh no. Use gel. So a line of gel on the <laughs> it will, it will line. Or line ish. And then start combing it through, okay? Also comb all the flyaways in the back in the process of. Ideally, we don't want any bobby pins here, but for this stage, until it's dried, keep the bobby pins in first. And then once it's dried, pretend it is right now, I'm gonna remove them, and then it should stay back. After, you're gonna style it however you want. For now, we're just gonna comb all, it all the way back, and you can see it's just one smooth line. We do not want to see a twist or a hair tie on top of her head, or we don't want it to be in the middle part, okay? I know that's the easier way to do, but this will look better. Yep, so that's how you get rid of the bangs. One of the hairstyles is that you would have two braids on the two sides, and then you're gonna meet in the middle. First, you're gonna grab one section of your hair, about right above your ears and you're just going to do a regular braid do it about half at least halfway through but if you want to braid it all the way first that's fine as well so around here I think it's great length to stop can you hold this one thank you repeat the same process on the other side your head Again, grab a chunk of hair, separate into three strands, and then start doing a braid. If you don't know how to do a braid, this is a great video to learn how to do a braid as well. And then for this particular hairstyle, we are meeting the two braids in the middle, and then join them into one braid. So here, Find a medium middle point, hold on to it tight, let loose for the uh, let the rest of the braid loose, and then from here you're gonna section off into three strands like this, and then you start braiding again. the end secure with an elastic. Which, you want to use a smaller elastic. Which hopefully is one. a smaller one. But that's all we have right now. And there you go. Done. Beautiful. Is, this is the one that you want, right? Yep.